Hello everyone, here we are today at Elephant Freedom in the Meichan district. Um, we're near Chiang Mai uh, town right now. Uh, we're here for Elephant Freedom and we're going to meet today six beautiful elephants with including mothers and their babies. So a little background story of this place. Uh, Elephant Freedom is run by Alana Thai family who has lived and worked with elephants for now two generations. Uh, this project, they, this family actually, they were glad to transition away from elephant riding to an ethical elephant tourism to give a better life for these elephants. Due to COVID, you know, you, you guys all know, um, many projects are facing many challenges and with your help and support, you can make uh, projects like this sustainable and also provide a better life uh, for these elephants. So. Enough with the talking, we'll go now meet uh, the manager of this project. I'll also speak French for our French followers. Alors, bonjour, nous voici aujourd'hui dans le projet de Nous voici devant une famille de six éléphants qui inclut des mères et des bébés. Oui, hello. Alors, euh, on est ici, euh, ce projet a été euh, dirigé par une famille, une euh, famille Lana, une famille Lana Thai. Alors, euh, c'est ça, ils ont été, ils ont transitionné en fait vers euh, le, la façon traditionnelle où ils traitaient les éléphants, vers une façon euh, éthique et pour justement donner une meilleure vie à ces éléphants. Comme vous le savez, on est dans une situation de COVID en ce moment. Il y a beaucoup de projets qui font face à des situations difficiles dans celui-ci. Alors avec votre aide et support, vous pouvez aider des projets comme celui-ci à rester en place, mais aussi pour aider ces éléphants à avoir une meilleure vie. So, like I said, enough with the talking. Now let's go meet the, the manager of this project. สวัสดีค่ะครับสวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมค่ะครับสบายดีครับชื่อเชื่ออะไรค่ะผมชื่อทอนครับชื่อทอนและเป็นฟรีดอมครับใช่ค่ะครับ so ชื่อทอน I have some questions for you the first one is how long have you had have this project ครับผมมาอยู่ที่นี่ได้สี่ปีแล้วนะครับ okay ครับ so it's been four years ครับได้มาเลี้ยงดูช้างที่นี่ได้ดูแลช้างที่นี่หกเชือกนะครับ Okay, so there's six elephants yeah. here uh, in the in the projects. Yeah. So uh, my next question is, how did this project affected your life, the life of the elephants, but also um, how did COVID affected all of this? ตอนตั้งแต่ผมมาเนี่ยครับผมมาอยู่เนี่ยเข้ามาอยู่ที่นี่ก็คือว่าผมมาอยู่กับทางมูลนิธิอนุรักษ์ช้างนะครับสีเวทล้อมเขามาอยู่ที่นี่สี่ปีนี่ก็คือรู้สึกว่าช้างได้กินดีอยู่ดีนะครับครับและพอมาอยู่ทีหลังครับมีปัญหาเกี่ยวกับโควิดเนี่ยครับเข้ามาครับเป็นปัญหาใหญ่เลยครับช็อกเลยครับครับแต่ว่าดีทามีทางมูลนิธิอนุรักษ์ช้างและสีแวดล้อมครับเข้ามายื่นมือเข้ามาช่วยเหลือเขาช่วยเหลือเราครับเราได้อยู่ดีได้อยู่ดีกินดีช้างก็ได้อยู่ดีกินดีครับครับอย่างอื่นก็ขอขอบคุณทางไอ้แม่เล็กครับครับคุณแสงเดือนชัยเลิศนะครับขอขอบพระคุณเป็นอย่างยิ่งเลยครับที่เข้ามาช่วยเหลือหรือว่าอะไรเนี่ยครับครับไม่ว่าช้างหรือว่าพวกผมหรือว่าอะไรนะครับครับโอเคค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ Um, so he was explaining that the first month when he was here he was facing many like we said many challenges it was hard to uh, uh, to feed the elephants just taking care because there's no income coming in Um, he was. He also wants to thank a lot Save the Elephant Foundation of supporting uh, this project. To you could see that the elephants are free and that they could have food. Also, uh, so he wanted uh, everybody to know uh, that he's very grateful and that he thanks you so much for your support and your help for this. And I just wanted to say also that he he also had the the help of Trunks Up uh, Foster Program for now. Two months, and that it helped him a lot. Also, so now you can see we have the elephants. Uh, we'll present them. So, um, and you sure like her? Shu Bang, Shu Bang. Okay, so in this uh, herd of six elephants, there's actually two families. So the first family is we have the Grand Nanny, Kum Kum Chan, Shemai Kum Chan. 
คุมมูลครับเป็นเป็นลูกของแม่มูลครับโอเคครับโอเค so we have uh, the grand nanny was Kum Kum Chan she had a daughter named Me Me Bun and that um, Me Bun had two children Bank ใช่ไหมครับ Bank and also ยายยายบูยายยายของ Bank ครับแม่จานครับโอเคค่ะยายนะครับโอเคยายบูแม่แม่จานครับตัวหนึ่งครับแม่จานโอเคพี่พี่ชายของ Bank ครับบุญยาครับบุญยา Okay, so that's this. That's uh, Bunya here, and we have Bank here. Uh, Kum Chan, you where? Kum Chan, you where? Here, that one. So Kum Chan here is uh, the grandma. She's the grandma. She's the oldest elephant here. You could see it by her skin. You could see it by her skin how wrinkled it is, and also uh, wait. Let's try to go closer. So yeah, Kum Chan here. She's. Are you how old? Okay, so she's 45 years old, and like I said, she has the elephant name Kum Mun, and you can see that she's the oldest elephant here because of her skin is wrinkled, and also by the pigmentation of her skin in the front. So elephants, some of the elephants, you can see how old they are because of their dots they have here. On on their skin, it's like people. Uh, it's like humans with gray hair. Oh my God! So he just slapped the cameraman there. So I'll let you enjoy. Um, speak French. Alors j'ai posé des questions au gérant de Elephant Freedom. J'ai demandé combien de combien de temps ça faisait combien de temps qu'il y avait ce projet. Et il m'a dit que ça faisait quatre ans. Uh, j'ai aussi Comment avait été affecté par ce projet Comment il a été affecté Et aussi évidemment comment il a été affecté par la situation du Covid. Alors il m'a dit que que le premier mois c'était difficile parce qu'il c'était justement il n'y avait pas d'argent qui qui rentrait. Alors c'est ça il y a eu des moments très difficiles mais avec Save the Elephant Foundation ils l'ont ils l'ont beaucoup aidé. Si, euh, le programme Trunks Up. Alors, il voudrait dire un gros merci à tout le monde qui a supporté et aidé euh, Elephant Freedom Project. Et il a très hâte euh, que vous revenez ici et que vous puissiez voir euh, les éléphants. Alors, on a, je parlais aussi de l'éléphant. Le premier éléphant qu'on a vu, c'était Kum Chan. C'est la, la grand-mère euh, de l'endroit. Alors, on peut voir qu'elle est vieille à cause de sa peau et aussi de la pigmentation de sa peau. So we have um, we have this family. Actually, there's like I said, there's two families here, and mm -hmm. it's a bonded family. So the first family, like I said, it's Kam Chan, Kam Mun, who's the mother who had two children, Bunya, Bunya, Shemai. So Bunya that we see right here, and Bang that we saw earlier, and the other family that we have is. May May Boon, I think. May, oh, Maybe, sorry. Maybe and um, Ping Tong. Sorry, it's just so many, so many names to remember. <laughs> so yeah, I'll let you enjoy a little bit. This ele this elephants enjoy eating the grass. So you can see that even though there's, it's a bonded family, uh, they get along all very well together. Are you tall, right, Bunya? Seven years old. Seven. So eight years old. Seven. Sorry. <laughs> so today we have a special activity where we're going to be creating some soap. So um, we're going to show you how we make soap for uh, the elephants, and after we'll go for a special swim because it's very hot right now. We're in winter season technically, but um, it's still very hot in the uh, the afternoon. Anisha, lai. 
ชื่อพินทองครับพินทอง so พินทอง is the baby of m e b u n m e d i my god I keep I keep I keep saying m e b u n m e d i ครับขอโทษนะคะครับพินทองอายุ3ปีแล้วนะครับ3ปีครับ3ปี Okay so three years old Okay so now let's go i n let's uh, go make the soap For those who don't know, um, elephants eat around 150 kilograms to 300 kilograms a day. So, if so, for those who, to get a better understanding and to give you a better idea of a general uh, cost for one elephant per day, it's around 50 dollars, and that includes taking care of the elephant, uh, providing food, but also supporting the mahout. So you can see by the end of the week, it's around 350 dollars uh, for one elephant. So you can see that the prices adds up very fast, especially in this situation because there's no income but the same amount of outcome. So especially when there's six elephants. So here we are to do the special soap for the elephants. Ani, ani. ชื่ออะไรชื่อเครือซาบาครับซาบาครับ so s a b a is a special um, is a special branch so we cut this from um, a s a b a tree and what we, what they usually do is that they crush uh, the s a b a and after it makes like it, it foams naturally and it, it's the perfect kind of soap for the elephant so they use this uh, this natural soap To help uh, the elephants, like self-care for the elephants, like spa treatment. So they use um, they use this, and it helps them for the fleas, the insects, <coughs> and it it gives gives them also a better hygiene. Because if we don't soap them, uh, they could get um, their skin could be in a very bad condition. So this helps, and it cleans them, so they could be uh, happy, clean elephants. Are you going to show us how we do it? So I'll let you. I'll let you look a little bit what it looks like. I'll let you enjoy uh, the surroundings a little bit of uh, of this uh, area. So, like I was saying, the skin problem. Um, so we use that soap and we we bath them, like I said, to give them a better hygiene. So, what is the skin problem from? Is usually worms or insects that goes into uh, the elephant skin, and if we don't treat that, if we don't take soap and clean them, it could get very worse. It's like it goes everywhere on their body. So this soap is uh, to provide uh, better hygiene and also to take care of the elephant skin. So yeah, you can see now it's almost a golden hour. So we have the sun coming in. Alors euh, on va, alors on est ici pour faire un, un shampoing, un savon en fait, pardon, un savon spécial pour euh, pour la peau des éléphants. Parce qu'il y a certains éléphants qui ont des problèmes euh, de peau quand alors c'est des petits c'est des insectes en fait qui viennent s'installer dans la peau des éléphants et qui pondent des œufs et qui se propagent un peu partout. Alors cette arbre le saba comme il disait ça aide en fait à euh, donner une meilleure hygiène pour l'éléphant mais aussi pour éviter que ça se propage et qu'il y ait euh, des problèmes de de peau. So this is how we do it.
so you can see you need some strong muscles to cut uh, to cut this uh, this saba this saba tree. But you could see in the underneath, it's like it's like a sponge. So and it smells very good also. But you can see it looks very like a sponge. There's even like dots, like if it was a sponge. So to give you a better look. Alors ça ressemble assez à une éponge aussi. Ça nous a très bonne. Et c'est très fibreux, il y a très, beaucoup, beaucoup de fibres. So yeah, you can see it looks like this inside. So you can see there's like liquid. It's crazy because when you see it from here, it's very, very stiff. It's very hard, but as soon as you chop it, it's very, it, it, it's very soft. And this is perfect for the elephant skin because they have very thick skin. We got our professional here. So this also a fun fact about a sabah is that when you put it in the water, it makes naturally, it foams by himself. So you could just you just put it and we'll see it because we're gonna go bat them. So we're gonna see the bubbles that it creates when you put it in the water. Alors euh, un, un fait intéressant du saba, alors euh, quand on le met dans l'eau, euh, ça fait ça crée des bulles en fait par euh, par soi-même. Alors euh, tantôt on va aller euh, se baigner dans euh, la rivière avec les éléphants et on va pouvoir avoir euh, la preuve que ça que ça mousse euh, au contact de l'eau. So you can see that Pitorn has been doing this uh, for a while now because he's a professional. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting and you can see, look, when I squeeze it, it's really like a sponge, right? When I squeeze it, there's liquid, white liquid coming out from it. From the little dots here. So now uh, we'll go to the next step. We'll go and wash the, the elephants. So we'll go to the river with the six beautiful elephants. So follow us. So now it's bath time and I think they know because they're all following. So it's like basically when we go to the spa, right? It's like self-care treatment. <laughs> but the same for the elephants to avoid. It's also, it has many um, health benefits uh, for the elephant. And it's crazy because it's just, when you think about it, it's just a branch, right? Mm. Alors, je pense qu'ils savent que c'est le temps euh, du bain, parce qu'ils nous suivent tous. Bang. 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 Money, my boon, money, my. Hey, 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 So you can see how beautiful it is with the cliff here and with the sun just the, the golden hour right now. It's the golden hour. Oh, you see there's <laughs> the mahout going to get the elephants to go take the bath.
So yes, um, th this uh, this project is now, uh, like I said earlier, part of the Chungsup uh, Foster Program for now two months. So if you want to help and support, feel free to go on the Chungsup uh, Foster Program. Their background stories are written all in detail, and it's all in detail. And you could have a daily update on uh, these uh, these elephants. Alors, euh, si vous êtes intéressé à justement supporter ou aider euh, ce, ce projet, vous pouvez toujours aller sur le, le, le site web euh, Trunks Up Foster Program. Euh, ils ont euh, une, euh, une, description, euh, une description de toute la, la, vie et la vie passée euh, de ces éléphants. Et euh, vous allez aussi avoir euh, une mise à jour euh, de ces éléphants. Ooh. Okay, so it's actually working. Okay, so when you take the saba, you put it in the water, and look, it's making bubbles. <laughs> it's making bubbles, and you can see it's very t small, right? Wait. Trying to like it, it's foaming a little bit. Well, I'll try. So yeah, it feels good because I'm refreshing myself also. Look, look at the foam it does. And I'll clean myself also to make sure I don't have skin uh, skin problems. Look how foamy it is. It's like it's it's natural soap. It's crazy. And it smells very good also. Alors, euh, I'll speak in French now. Um, alors, euh, vous pouvez voir que ça crée des bulles. Euh, au contact de l'eau et c'est vraiment comme un savon naturel, ça sent très bon et euh, c'est ça, il y, a il y a quand même beaucoup de bulles qui se créent et ça nous donne, tout ça est, est, est naturel. It's crazy, I never thought that a branch could do this. So yeah, it's time now. Thank you. So you can see, um, you could see a uh, natural behavior in elephant world when they take uh, some dust and they put it on the uh, it's it acts like a sun but also to push away the insects so today would be really like i said a spa treatment for them ani ani shale bunya so Bunya is seven years What is it? 
family is that they're, you know, it's a family. There's two families. Gets along very well. It's not. You see, the the one here, she's a female, but she has uh, she has touches, which is kind of rare for. So we see we got banana. We got the Saba, we got a beautiful, the beautiful sun. The perfect kind of paradise for an elephant. No. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. So how do we use this? Ania. Okay. Oi. So come and look, come and see how it works. Look how it's foamy. Oh, he's enjoying it. So I'll give you an example. So you can see how foamy it gets. So yes, this is very good also for their health. So as you know, elephants has very th thick skin. So when we use this, her it's like a sponge. It's like a yeah. It's like a sponge uh, cleans all the dirt and all the insects <laughs> from their bodies. Bath time. Do you remember when you were your mother or your dad used to clean you and your bathtub? This is the same concept, but with the elephants. When you didn't want it, now they're so you this to your kids if you the elephants. They're not complaining. Look how, how good they are. Alors quand vous essayez, je... 
justement de, de faire... Euh, quand, je sais pas, sûrement beaucoup d'entre vous, vous avez des enfants. Et euh, quand ils veulent pas prendre le bain, montrez-leur cette vidéo et di dites-leur que euh, vous voyez les éléphants, comment ils, ils prennent le bain et qu'ils sont calmes, ils pleurent pas. So we need to treat them, right? Because they've been so good to us. So we need to give them food also. So it's like, okay, we're gonna take a bath with you guys, but we're gonna also give you treats and uh, to make it easier. There you go. You can see here, I've been rubbing on the, the elephants, right? And you can see how dirty it is, actually. And this is all, and this is just a little bit. I've been just doing it on the trunks a little bit. So yeah, they do uh, usually need sometimes uh, a bath once in a while. So. <laughs> Alors, ils sont absolument... Oups. 
Alors c'est absolument magnifique. Alors vous pouvez voir euh, les éléphants, les six euh, magnifiques éléphants qui sont ici. Ils ont tellement une nature douce et gentille, comme vous pouvez le voir. So, a big thank you to Trunks Up uh, Foster Program who has helped and support uh, this program, uh, this uh, this project. You can see how the elephants are extremely beautiful and so nice. They have such a kind nature. So, a big thank you to Trunks Up. If you're interested in uh, fostering one of these elephants, take your time. You can go on the website. Uh, there's many types of donations. Uh, including different things. So take your time when you're in the, the Trunks Up uh, Foster Program. Uh, and again, a big thank you to everybody who has helped and support uh, this beautiful project. Alors, uh, un gros merci à Trunks Up uh, uh, Foster Program. Un gros merci pour avoir supporté et aidé <laughs> ce programme. Shall I? So she's the oldest elephant, by the way. So anyways, uh, un gros merci. Et uh, si vous êtes intéressé à parenter un de ces éléphants, uh, sentez-vous à l'aise, allez sur uh, le, le site web de Trunks Up et vous pouvez voir, il y a différents types de donations, alors prenez votre temps. Um, comme j'ai dit uh, dans le, le vidéo d'avant, vous pouvez donner un uh, 2$, mais ce 2$-là va faire uh, une différence, uh, va être le premier pas pour un grand changement. So a big thank you. Kapunka! Kapunka! Thank you, Kapunka! And we'll now let you enjoy the beautiful herd of the, of the six beautiful elephants.